Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming back to Dale Chanel's 48th World, where we do breaking news on celebrities, okay? Basically, the celebrity we're going to be talking about today, and it's an exclusive straight from TMZ. So if you want to check out the visual and audio they have on R. Kelly today, please go check them out. It was just dropped today uh, at 9.37 my time zone. Okay, this morning. It goes on to say TMZ is reporting that R. Kelly is finally showing his face. And I'm just going to do a sidebar real quick. He ain't really showing his face. It's kind of dark. So if you really want to get people to be concerned about him and sympathize and have some empathy for him, it would have showed a very clear picture like I'm showing you on my visuals of him being, you know, in live, in sync, trying to give the public an awareness that he's still coming to each and every one of his um, towns for his showcasing of his show, okay? So we all see he's worried about that money, and he's trying to assure people that the allegations against him are completely false. And that's my sidebar. Getting back to what TMZ put out on their, um, uh, what do you call it, their blog or their entertainment news section. It says R. Kelly is finally showing his face, sort of, to deny in his homes, and he's clearly concerned about his bottom line. Kelly recorded a video message telling fans, despite all the crap y'all hearing, I will be coming to the East Coast to do my show. He has three straight nights of concerts starting Friday night in Virginia Beach. Okay? It's the first time Kelly's been seen since the family of Jocelyn Savage, one of his girlfriends, came forward to claim the singer was holding their daughter and other women against their will. As we first reported, Jocelyn denied on camera she's Kelly's captive. Two things about Kelly's new video. It sounds like he's trying to ensure the allegations don't hurt his ticket sales. And also, he's desperately needs a better camera and lightning. Okay? And that's basically all that they broke uh, on the story today. I'm pretty sure it'll come um some more videos will come from tmz and other bloggers that will be doing the show or on their show their channel uh what i'm speaking reference to but i just thought i'll just come to y'all very early in the morning drop that little tea because that's basically what i do now i just drop a little here drop a little there if you're willing to sit through my commentary then you'll find a bit of news of interest okay but that was just done on r kelly today this morning for my folks my foes my friends my family Okay, for my chicas out there that want to listen to Deb Chanel speak, uh, what is it, allegedly the truth, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm just getting it from other people, other sources, doing my research, and all of that. But again, our Kelly is coming out saying, hey, ain't nothing going to stop his show, all right? And I can I, you know, if I bought tickets to the brother's show, you know, before all this had happened, you know, I would still go. I probably wouldn't pay attention to him walking around on stage. I'd just be grooving to the music because that Chocolate Factory album he dropped, Ooh, it was the bomb. And I don't really listen to it as much as I used to back in the day. But, you know, when you're with your man, you know, and stuff of that nature, or if you're a lesbian or a gay, you know, you're with your partner and stuff like that. That music be hitting, you know what I'm saying? You don't be thinking about the man, R. Kelly. You just be thinking about them words and them songs to get your little bump and grind on. You know what I'm saying? But if you could separate the two, the allegations from the good music that he made, you know, to just be winding down and being with your significant other or whatnot, then it's a cool break. But if you can't separate the two, then, hey, go try to sell your tickets or just put it as a loss and don't go see the brother, you know, in his show, in his showcasing and stuff. Sometimes we got to separate them when we done did something and we can't undo. We just got to take the good with the bad. But, you know, for future people that really feel that he may have done this, don't listen to his music. Don't, we don't boycott everything, you know. Uh, that's your way of showing him that you don't like what's going on and you half-heartedly believe the stories. Excuse me. The stories that have been portrayed uh, about him on social media pages or out in the public for everybody to view, whether they see it, they hear it or whatever. Speak no evil, hear no evil, see no evil. If you just turn a blind side, then go keep flowing how you flow. But if you're on that conscious mentality and you really feel he did something, then, you know, hey, don't buy CDs. Don't look at no commentary on him. Uh, don't definitely don't go to no shows. Don't buy no promotion, mirror type type stuff and strip yourself uh 
uh, throw away your CDs and stuff like that to have you have a free conscience of not promoting anything so he can be served up with the justice that he do deserve if he a actually did in, in turn do these infractions amongst these women and still doing it, you know, that mind control type scenario uh, that people tend to partake in to get other people to subdue them to do what they want them to do. Pretty much like sex slaves, you know what I'm saying. But anyway, I just want to drop that little tea, do what you will with it, and I'll catch you on the next topic I'll be talking about. Okay, take care. Blessings. Bye-bye.